This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. This tutorial video covers YouTube tools for teachers to safely share videos that are distraction free in the classroom with students. In this tutorial, we'll share with you how to use a free web tool called ViewPure to clean up YouTube videos to remove ads and suggested videos. We'll also show you how to trim and clean long videos to a desired length and also remove ads and distractions using a free tool called TubeChop. Let's get started. One of the concerns many teachers have is the distractions that can be seen when teachers access YouTube videos to show in class. These distractions include the suggested videos off to the side as well as those that appear at the end of the video and the comments that can often be very inappropriate that show up and kids can see on the screen. An easy solution to this is to use a tool to share the video and or to display the video without any of these distractions. Simply grab the share link to the video, navigate to viewpure.com, paste the link to the video, and choose Create. A purified version of your video appears with a unique URL that can be saved or shared. Sometimes the videos I want to share with students are too long and there's a certain section of the video that I would like to queue up and have ready for when students are in class. An easy way to do this is to use a tool called TubeChop. First, you have to get the share link to the video. So right below the video, click share, copy the link, and then navigate to TubeChop. Here, you paste in the URL that you had copied and search for the video. TubeChop pulls up your video, and when you hit chop it, it will give you an option to change the length of the video. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can use the gray bars to the side to scroll to the desired start time. In addition, you can also add the end time that you desire by typing it in directly. So either way, you can use the scroll bars or you can use the start and end times and update that. So here you'll notice that the video length has changed and it gives me the total length of time that I've chopped it to. It also gives me a choice to type in a reminder about what that section of video is pertaining to. When I'm done, I simply hit chop it and I'm given a unique URL and embed code for my video. Thanks for watching. For this and other tutorial videos and technology integration help for your classroom, check us out online at teachingforward.net.